Hi, I'm Lee Dorn with the Competitive Enterprise Institute, and I'm also with Ryan Young, fellow in regulatory studies. As many people saw two days ago, Barack Obama gave his speech on the budget. I want to ask Ryan what his first initial thoughts are. Ryan, what did you think? Uh, my initial thoughts are that the budget is going to be primarily the status quo shall reign. Um, I was more interested in what he had to say on the tax side of the equation, where if Congress continues the Bush-Obama spending bid, and uh, spending continues to go up and up and up at 7% or more every year, there's going to be an automatic tax increase to try to close the deficit. A problem with this is that Congress can raise taxes as high as it wants, but revenues are going to stay about the same. For the last 50 years or more, they've remained constant at 18 to 20 percent of GDP. And this has been the case when the income tax rate was 70 percent. It was the case when the tax rate was as low as 28 percent. It stays surprisingly constant. The trouble is that government spending is now roughly a quarter of GDP, and there's a 4 to 5 percent gap there in terms of GDP, which is a lot of money. So what he's proposing here isn't really going to close the gap. So what do you think he, he could do to actually close the gap? Do you think Paul Ryan's closer to, to reaching that goal, or do you think he's not quite at that goal yet at all? What you need to do to close the gap is to spend less. It's that simple. Well, in terms of, you know, Paul Ryan also proposed his budget. Um, his priorities seem to be leaving a couple things off the table, especially defense spending. Uh, do you think that uh, adding defense spending onto the, that budget would also be necessary to close the gap, or do you think uh, Paul Ryan's done enough in terms of his proposal? Defense spending needs to be cut, and there are a few other things the Paul Ryan plan lacks, but it would make a good start, I think. Um, the Iraq War has cost roughly a trillion dollars, and that was not mostly an avoidable expense. Uh, Libya is costing, I don't know how many hundreds of millions of dollars per month. It's, uh, it's money that can be saved that doesn't need to be spent, and the U.S. is not made safer for these. I noticed something that Obama said during his speech. He talked about the fact that we are going, we have tax, he, he said we almost have tax spending in the tax code. And what did you get from that? It seemed almost Orwellian when he used that type of language. It is uh, logically a little confusing. It's as though I take $100 from you, and then if I decide the next year to take $95 from you, I label that as $5 of spending. It presumes that the money is not yours. It presumes that the money is the government's, which is absolutely the wrong view of the world. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Well, uh, we hope you all enjoyed our, our quick uh, discussion on Barack Obama's speech, and stay tuned for our next show. Take care.